Hello everybody, I'm here with a 2003 Infiniti G35 and the engine's shaking really bad. So I have a coil in the back here. My friend told me is shaking. Uh, well, it's bad, I'm sorry. The, the coil's bad and it's causing the shaking. And I just wanna do a quick test with the, the voltmeter. The, the coils have three different um, prongs over here. You can see there's three prongs that go in there. And basically I've hooked up this white lead to the outside and I have the negative uh, part of this voltmeter and it's gonna go to this alligator clip right here. And the positive, I'm gonna touch the, the coil. Uh, I'm gonna touch the outside prong. And when I do that, I'm getting a OL, uh, which stands for over the limit or open lead depending on like, I mean, you're on ohms or volts meter. So right now you can see it, it doesn't have anything. Well, if I touch the middle one, the resistance goes to, let me see, the middle one goes to, let's see, I think it was 1.9 kilo ohms or something. So I'm trying to, trying to touch it so you can see. Uh, let's see, one second. It's making momentary contact, 1.9 kilo ohms. And 1.9 kilo ohms between the middle and the outside. And over here, let's see, over here, I'm gonna connect the same alligator clip to the outside. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So now I'm gonna touch the middle one and see if I get 1.9 kilo ohms and I don't, I get 213 kilo ohms. So that means on the coil that is good, I have 213,000 ohms between the middle and the outside and between the outside one and the other outside one where it was open on the other one, it was open lead. So they weren't electrically connected on, on the uh, one that's supposed to be bad. They told me it was bad. So on that one, it was, let's see, it was open. On this one, it's 215 kilo ohms. And when I connect this one right here, when I connect this outside one back, and then I take this middle one here, this is basically going to be the deciding factor because he's taken it somewhere before and they told him that it was bad. So the suspicion is that the 212 kilo ohms between the outside and the inside one, the right and the, the middle, that 213.6 that I have here is normal. And I can verify that by basically, because it has a K in front of the ohms, that means thousands, so 213,000. When I get that in between both of these over here, since they both have 212,000 or 213,000, the suspicion is that the one in the back, which they told him is bad, since it's open, it's not electrically connected, that that's the bad one. So let's uh, start the engine up really quick so uh, they can see what the engine sounds like. Appreciate that, man. And uh, just gonna see. So this is not connected, I'm gonna connect it. All right, so that's what it, that's what it sounds like right now. So with a bad coil, the engine's gonna be off balance. It's not going to, it's not gonna sound good. See, it's it's shaking and stuff. This back one's not connected right now. So one thing you can do, let me see if I can, uh, okay. Yeah, I know this this thing looks upside down. Okay, so um, when I connect this, if that coil is good, it should start acting better. So let's see if it acts better when I connect this. It does sound like it's better, so let's see. Sounds are good again. So then 
the idea is that that coil probably isn't bad even though it was electrically connected different so it's either making um it's either giving off a spark every now and then or it's all right completely and something else is causing the problem so one of the things that i'm going to suggest is to try and change that coil out and see if another coil acts better because on the computer i didn't see anything that told me that one cylinder was better than the other so it could be any one of these cylinders causing the problem according to the computer uh, that i use with the diagnostic because it gave us multiple misfire and then this vacuum uh, solenoid over here this thing it's working right so that was the other code so multiple misfire this uh, vacuum control solenoid thing and there was one other one it, it escapes me right now oh that's right evap leak so i'm gonna have to look for that so thank you for watching thumbs up thumbs down uh comment and please subscribe thank you for watching